Hey y'all, I'm Justina and in this video, I just want to discuss who wants to look simple when you can look absolutely stunning. <laughs> uh, basically, all I'm trying to say is just make sure you invest into yourself. Make sure you take care of yourself. Put the self, yourself first always. Just make sure um, you look good everywhere you go. Make sure you keep your hair done, your nails done. Men, make sure you're groomed. Make sure you smell nice. Make sure you have a haircut. You know, whatever you got. Make sure if you have dress, make sure your dress are, you know, twisted up, neat, fresh. Just always look presentable everywhere you go. It just shows that you put time into yourself into your looks and it shows that you to me it shows you love yourself you know you love yourself you invest into yourself and you take time out to make sure that you look good and i just had to learn the hard way like i used to be and this is so embarrassing that i'm talking about this because i used to be one of those chicks that would go out in public with a bonnet on or I used to just go out with house shoes on, um, pajamas on. Like, I was just so lost and just didn't know any better. Like, I, I used to be ignorant as fuck when it came to thyself, to myself. But it's like now, since I have this new profound love for myself, it's like I have no choice but to look good when I wake up in the morning, when I'm going to work, when I'm going to H-E-B, to the grocery store, uh, walking, I sometimes I walk at the park, sometimes I exercise, but I make sure to look presentable. It's like now I just, I care, you know? And at first I didn't care. I didn't care how I look. I didn't care how my hair looked. I didn't care if I didn't have my nails done, makeup done. I just didn't give a fuck. But it's like now you can't pay me enough not to give a fuck and not to invest into myself and take time out so I can look good, you know, for myself, you know. And I don't know. This was just a, a quick message. Never abandon thyself, a.k.a. yourself, you know. And for the longest, I just... I abandoned myself. I neglected myself. And it was so bad to where my looks reflected how my appearance reflected my mental. Okay. And my appearance was a hot mess. So that means my mental was a hot mess as well. But it's like now you just, you got me fucked up if. If I'm out and about and you see me looking a hot mess, that would never happen, <laughs> you know? That would never happen. Just like I put the time and effort to be presentable as I'm making this YouTube video, you know? And the old me, I probably would have hopped on here with a bonnet on and just look a hot mess. Oh, in my tarot readings, you can probably see that, um, you can probably see that I do have my bonnet on, but the main focus is the cards, not me. <laughs> but that don't count. We're not talking about that. I'm just talking about always just invest into yourself, into your looks. Um, make sure your hygiene is good. Make sure your dental hygiene is up to par. It's updated. Go to your dentist appointments every six months. Just put time and effort into yourself. It's like we put so much time and effort into other things that don't matter. As in, you know, people want to put time in to get the, the new Gucci shoes or a new Gucci purse, or people want to put time in to travel, you know, to, to cap on Instagram and, you know, to have this false identity on Instagram all that takes effort. That takes time and effort to keep up with a false appearance, okay? Or not even that. Like, just everyday things. We put time and effort into um, spending time with whoever we're with. We put time and effort into if we're hungry, we'll drive across town to get food. All that is time and effort. So, if we're putting time and effort in things that really don't matter... 
we can put that time and effort into ourselves and upgrade ourselves and look better, you know, for ourselves. Fuck the outsiders. Like everything we're doing is just for ourselves, you know? And it just took me a while to realize this. But yeah, I will put so much time and effort. You know, I will put so much time and effort being on Instagram or watching YouTube videos when I could have been, you know, just coming up with ways and ideas on how to better myself and what can I do to have a better life or a better appearance. I'm not saying like, oh, get cosmic surgery or something like cosmetic surgery or something like that. I mean, you can if you want to, but we shouldn't need that so we can feel better about ourselves. However, I'm not judging, you know, because I can do a little tummy tuck now. However, I am working what I got and, you know, I'm proud of my gut, my stomach and how I look, whatever. Like that shit don't define me. Like I have a big stomach, but my big stomach doesn't define who I actually am, you know? So... It's like, what I'm trying to say is, you know, just make sure you just put time and effort and energy into yourself and doing what makes you happy, you know? That's all I have to say for this video. Just put time and effort into the self, take care of the self, because nobody else is going to take care of yourself. Nobody else is going to take care of you better than you can take care of you. Okay, and we put time, we p give other people expectations and we put so much, um, we expect people to be there for us and do for us and stuff. And the whole time we can be doing this for ourselves. That's all I'm saying. But um, that's all I have to say for this video. Um, If you watch my channel, whatever, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to add me. Follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole. Don't forget to book me for readings. I do tarot readings. I do coaching. Um, I'm a life coach and a spiritual coach. I'm an advisor. I'm a motivator. You know, if you need someone to speak words of encouragement to you so you can get to the next level so you can complete a project so you can be on the right track so you can stop a bad habit so you can stop drinking stop smoking you know i am here to help and to make sure you're on the right track of doing the right thing that's going to help better you in the long run and um because i've been there you know all this is just a pro it's a process and things don't happen overnight however we all need positive people and motivators, mentors, advisors, counselors. We all need somebody in our corner to make sure we're doing the right thing. And I never had that. And I had to learn. I had to learn everything on my own. But I feel that I would be so much further in life if I had that support system. That's why now it's important that I'm a spiritual coach and a life coach, a motivator, a narcissistic advisor, you know, a person that knows um, narcissistic behavior and I can help you through that. I can help you to recognize the signs, the symbols, the red flags or whatever. It's like, I'm here to help y'all, you know, but I couldn't get to this point if I didn't help myself. So it's like now that I'm in this new space in my life to where I'm helping myself because I'm still growing, but I help myself. I'm still helping myself and I'm in a better position to help others as well. So, you know, don't be afraid Ask me anything, ask me questions, you know, if you need help, if you need advice, I am here, you know, but I'm actually going out, <laughs> so it is time for me to wrap this video up, but thank you, y'all, um, yeah, until we meet again, <laughs> thank you, bye-bye.